HSBC and Bank of East Asia have both won approval to become the first foreign lenders to issue UN denominated bonds in Hong Kong. The approvals come as China seeks to develop its offshore UN market. Foreign banks typically rely on the interbank market and deposits for funding because of their limited networks in China. Joining us now to talk more about this and China as a whole is Jing Ulrich. She's Managing Director and Chairman of China Equities at J.P. Morgan Securities. Jing, thanks for joining us again on Worldwide Exchange. Uh, let me ask you about the motive behind the Chinese authorities both allowing BEA and HSBC to issue these UN denominated bonds. What, what, is, what is the reason for doing this? Well, this is a new encouraging development. Uh, the Chinese uh, bond market has been uh, relatively underdeveloped. Uh, there are many foreign banks now that operate in China, but some of those banks actually are seeking funding through alternative sources as uh, their branch network is not quite as well developed as some of the domestic Chinese banks. So this is a very encouraging development that uh, BEA and uh, HSBC can raise RMB denominated debt in Hong Kong to finance their um, operations in the mainland China. Hopefully more foreign banks will be allowed to do so in the future. Does this also help make the renminbi or the yuan uh, more international or uh, more popular or more used as an, as an international currency? Well, this is a long-term goal. You know, uh, the RMB has become more widely used internationally in recent months. Uh, some of the uh, foreign trade now with foreign countries can be settled in RMB instead of the U.S. dollar. China actually entered into such agreements with a range of countries in Latin America, in the Middle East. So going forward, we will see the internationalization of RMB. Well, it's interesting, Jing, because I, I've just been reading about that potential with Brazil and about Chinese potential investment in the Brazilian oil industry. And I'm curious about that relationship. Is that uh, is just China looking for new, uh, cheaper, longer term ways to, to get the fuel they're going to need to fuel their economy down the road? Yes, China is always looking for new resources, especially oil, iron ore, coal, nickel, all the natural resources the country needs to fuel its future development. So in the recent days, we've seen uh, some new encouraging developments with Latin American countries, especially Brazil, uh, given uh, Lula is on a visit to China. So um, I think China has a keen interest to diversify its uh, oil sources. You know, China does get a lot of oil from Latin America, uh, but in addition, China gets oil from uh, Africa, such as Angola, the Middle East, and increasingly from Russia. Uh, China now imports some 50% of its oil requirement. So um, in the future, I think China will enter into joint agreements with countries such as Brazil to explore oil. Uh, Jing, if I can just bring you to a, a kind of a more general question, really. It's uh, Becky in London here, by the way. Um, there's been debate over the outlook for growth in China, the extent to which domestic demand can uh, continue to prop up growth in China. I mean, uh, currently, where do you stand on that argument? How much growth do you think we can see despite the, ec the economic headwinds we're seeing in the rest of the world? Well, we're seeing um, some um, uh, continued weakness in the export sector. That's not surprising. In the month of April, exports plunged by some 23%. However, there are encouraging signs that domestic consumption is actually picking up, especially domestic investment. In the first four months of this year, China's overall fixed asset investments actually grew some 30%. Uh, overall, consumer retail also grew at about 15%. So throughout the rest of this this year, we expect domestic growth to drive overall GDP instead of exports. So China has a very good chance of achieving its growth targets, even without a contribution from exports. All right, Jing, we have to leave it there today. Thanks so much for joining us.